What's up guys, it's James. Welcome back to the Derpy Kitchen. For today's video, I'm making a beef and corn bake. This dish is another nostalgic meal from my childhood, and it holds a special place in my heart. Also, it's freaking delicious, and I thought I'd share it with you guys. Also, if you like what you see here, you can like the video and subscribe to the channel for more content like it. And remember to click the notification bell so you see when I post new videos. Also, I'm on Facebook and Instagram at The Derpy Kitchen if you'd like to follow along and get updates for new things. Now, for the video. This week we're starting the video off with a little bit of knife safety. Shout out to Morgan for the suggestion. I hope this helps. When cutting anything, I use the claw method, which is when you curl your fingers like so. Then use the first knuckle of your middle finger as a guide and a bumper so you don't cut the other fingers. I'm using an onion because I find it good for practicing knife skills on. A little hot tip for ya. Keep an eye out for more safety tips in future videos. Now, onto the recipe. I'm making beef and corn bake. Now slap that onion you dice so nicely into the pan that you preheat it to medium heat. And while you're at it, preheat the oven to 350 Fahrenheit. Then add 600 grams of ground beef, smash and mix the onion together with the beef, and cook until there's no pink spots showing. While that is cooking, bring a pot of salted water up to a boil for the pasta of your choosing, and cook according to the bag. I use penne noodles so they took around 7-8 to eight minutes, and then set aside. When the beef is cooked, place in a bowl so you start mixing everything together. You will need a can of condensed tomato soup, ketchup, corn, salt, and pepper. Mix all that together, start adding it to a casserole dish or an oven safe vessel. Once it's all mixed up, start adding the pasta. Then add as much cheese as your heart will let you, and then bake in the oven you preheated for 45 minutes. Once done, take it out and let it rest for 5-10 to 10 minutes so you don't burn yourself when you eat it. Another hot tip. No pun intended. This casserole is so good, super tasty, and super simple to make. Bonus that it's another nostalgic meal for me. I used to help my dad make this when I was younger. This one's for you, Faja. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Hopefully you liked the video, guys. As always, comment down below any suggestions for future videos. Also, let me know your favorite childhood meal down below. Subscribe if you're not already, and remember to make sure those notifications are on. See you next Sunday.